Hello everyone, uh, welcome to chemistry classes. Okay, myself, Sivlinga Hiramat, I am going to deal with chemistry. So, today we will discuss about the third unit of your second PUC syllabus, that is electrochemistry. Electrochemistry, that is the third topic of, topic of your uh, second PUC syllabus. So, this electrochemistry belongs to physical chemistry. So, please remember this is a uh, topic of physical chemistry. So, now First, we know about the weightage of the topic for board examination and for ZW examination and also for NEET examination. So, the weightage of this topic is for board examination, 8 marks will come from this topic. For board examination, 8 marks will come from this topic. So, one, one mark question will be there, one two mark question will be there and one five mark question. Pi plus, two plus, one. So, total 8 marks will come. So, for your second PUC board examination, one 5 mark question, one 2 mark question, and one 1 mark question will be asked from this topic. Okay. Here, the pi mark question is especially it is divided as 3 plus 2. Basically, it is divided as 3 plus 2, or sometimes it is also divided as 2 plus 2 plus 1. 2 mark question. 2, 2, 2 mark questions and 1, 1 mark question like that. So, especially 3 mark question is they will ask for a, a, a numerical problem on nurse equation or it may be on the calculation of cell potential or electrode potential or it may be the calculation of the <coughs> delta G value, Gibbs free energy or they may ask for us to calculate the equilibrium constant of the reaction. So, like that, that 5 mark question will come and the 2 mark and 1 mark questions they are memory based questions will come. Next, for NEET examination, the weightage of this topic is 1%, around 100% weightage. This topic has weightage of 1% and the 1% of weightage is nothing but the 1 question will come to your NEET examination from this topic. A 1 question carries how many marks? 4 marks. So, 1 question means 4 marks will come from this topic to your NEET examination. So, last year there was a question on uh, nurse equation. So, uh, sorry, galvanic cell. The question based on galvanic cell uh, asked in your NEET examination. And ZW, for ZW, the weightage of this topic is also 1% or one, one question is asked from this topic. One question means 4 marks, means totally 4 marks will come from this topic. Okay. So, this is about the weightage of this topic for your board examination, NEET examination and as well as ZW examination. And this topic to understand electrochemistry, we must know about some basic things. However, we have learned some basic thing, things in our first PUC, redox reaction topic. So, I think you all of you remember that redox reaction. So, the electrochemistry, each and every reaction taking place in electrochemistry are redox reaction. They are none other than redox reaction. And so, these first we should know about redox reaction. Let us recap what are redox reaction. So, once again, I will uh, redefine redox reaction and so what, what is the exact meaning of redox reaction? Okay. So, redox reaction means what? The redox means it's a combination of two types of words. The first one is reduction and oxidation. Redox means what? Reduction and oxidation. A redox reaction means it is a coupled reaction of reduction reaction as well as oxidation reaction. So, based on this we can define redox reaction. A chemical reaction in which reduction oxidation takes place simultaneously that is called as a redox reaction. One day reaction le oxidation of beko, reduction of beko. So other reaction in the now redox reaction the karidi. So redox reactions. So it contains reduction and oxidation. So basically we must know about what is reduction and what is oxidation. So, we have oxidation and reduction and reduction. So, I uh, will try to define reduction and oxidation. Okay. First, say about oxidation. What is oxidation? To define oxidation, we have got so many definitions. So, uh, 
a sum of them i have written here the first one let us uh, let us define oxidation and reduction simultaneously i will uh, define and compare oxidation means addition of oxygen to an element or a compound is called as oxidation to a compound or element if i insert or if i add oxygen to it so this is called as oxidation so the reduction is opposite of this so opposite means what here i have added oxygen to a compound here reduction means what removal of oxygen from the compound is called as reduction the removal of oxygen from the compound or an element is called as reduction next addition of electronegative element other than oxygen the addition of electronegative element other than oxygen to an element or a compound is called as oxidation for this compound or uh, if i add electronegative element other than oxygen so in the place of oxygen if i add electronegative element like chlorine fluorine nitrogen so such elements are added that reaction is also called as what oxidation here the removal of electronegative element is called as reduction here addition of electronegative element is called as oxidation if the electronegative element is removed from the compound that is called as reduction next removal of hydrogen from the compound is also called as oxidation from a compound if i remove hydrogen that is called as oxidation so opposite of this what addition of hydrogen is called as reduction addition of hydrogen to a compound or an element is called as reduction next in the same manner removal of electro positive element other than hydrogen so here once again removal of electro positive element other than hydrogen it is also called as oxidation electro positive element means what the electro positive elements are nothing but metals the metals are somewhat electro positive in nature not somewhat they are more likely to be electro positive in nature so removal of electro positive element from a compound is called as oxidation so opposite of that will be reduction opposite means what addition of electro positive element is called as reduction so these are the normal or common definitions of reduction and oxidation there comes the very weightful definitions see here these two are the most important definitions of oxidation and reduction see here oxidation means loss of electron loss of electron from an element or group of element or sorry group of atoms or from a compound is called as oxidation loss of element loss of electron from a compound is called as oxidation yado one compound dinda now electron remove madidivi andra athwa yado one element dinda electron ganna remove madidivi andra nam yen karibodidre nam oxidation anta karibodu opposite of this here loss of electron here it must be gain of electron gain of electron by a compound is called as reduction yade one compound ge electron sikku antandre electron extra electron sikidu antandre so that is called as reduction if a compound gains electron that is said to be reduced that reaction is reduction reaction now the one more important definition is on losing electron the oxidation number increases if a compound loses its electron its oxidation number increases so increase in oxidation number or oxidation state oxidation number or oxidation state both are similar increase in oxidation number or oxidation state is also called as oxidation increase in oxidation number or oxidation state is also called as oxidation please remember this two are very important because in our topic electrochemistry i am going to use this oftenly very much oftenly next here in case of reduction decrease in oxidation number or oxidation state of a element is called as reduction so when oxidation number decreases if a compound gets electron its oxidation number decreases so here here for oxidation i'll give an example let us take fe2 plus fe2 plus means what ferrous ion if ferrous ion loses one more electron 
now it becomes fe3 plus plus electron so here one electron one more electron is removed from fe2 plus ion so now it, it is converted into fe3 plus so oxidation state increased from plus 2 to plus 3 so increase in oxidation number is called as oxidation so the reaction is said to be oxidation reaction here for this Our compound stannic is there. On adding two electron to this stannic, it, it is converted into stannous ions. The stannic ions are converted into stannous ions on adding two electrons. So, on adding electron, gain of electron. On adding electron, oxidation state it was plus four. Now it is reduced to plus two. Decreased to plus two. So, decrease in oxidation number is called as reduction reaction. So, I hope all of you understood about the, the what is oxidation and what is reduction and how to identify oxidation and the reduction. So, oxidation reductions are identified by increase or decrease in their oxidation number or oxidation state. It's very simple method. And there comes the two more components, the two more words reductant and oxidant. They are very important. Reductant and oxidant. Reductant is also called as Reducing agent. Reducing agent. Reductant is also called as reducing agent. So here, if a compound is oxidized in a reaction, that oxidized component is called as reductant. The compound which is oxidized in the reaction is called as reductant. So please remember, reducing agent always undergo oxidation. So, the compound which is undergo oxidation is called as a reducing agent. Reducing agent. Next, oxidant. Oxidant, it is also called as a oxidizing agent. So, it is also said to be oxidizing agent. Generally, we can call it as oxidizing agent. So, oxidizing agent always undergo reduction reaction. It always undergo reduction reaction. Okay, so please remember what is reductant? The compound which is undergo oxidation is called as reductant or reducing agent. What is oxidant? The compound which is undergo reduction reaction is called as a oxidizing agent. Okay, so to remember this oxidation and reduction, I have a simplest formula. So that is, and you might be heard about the some you know. Uh, United Arab countries, which are well known for oil wells, they import uh, they import oil to all over the world. So, they in those countries, the more number of oil rigs are there. So, oil rig, oil well or oil rig. Oil rig means tail petroleum petroleum oil rig So, if you remember this simplest word. If you remember this word, you can remember oxidation as well as reduction. So here, oxidation is loss of electron. O means what? Oxidation. Oxidation is loss of electron. O stands for oxidation. L stands for loss. Oxidation is loss of electron and reduction is gain of electron. Oxidation is loss of electron. Reduction is gain of electron. If you remember this thing very clearly, so it becomes very much easy to remember our oxidation and reduction. Okay, so <coughs> I hope this video is very much helpful for you. If you find this video is useful, please like, comment and share among your friends. Those who are not subscribed and not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.